Welcome to Excel name trick number eight. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel name series one to 12. Hey, trick number eight, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at scope. What is scope? And we're going to look at a relative or absolute cell reference name. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to highlight this range right here. And I'm going to name it using a keyboard shortcut. But wait a second. I want to go back over to this trick right here and highlight this range right here. Whoa, there's already a name called January. If I control F3 and I come down to G, where, where are the J's? There it is, January. Notice the scope is workbook. Hey, that means it'll work anywhere in the workbook. So I can use J-A-N, that name, in any function, in any feature, in the whole workbook. Now I'm going to close this, come back over to name trick 8, and I'm going to highlight bloop, the name, January, and the numbers. And now I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut to name, uh, create name from selection, control shift F3, and it will automatically name it from the top row. I'm going to click OK. <gasps> what? January, that can't be two January names. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Control F3 to go to Name Manager, an earlier version. This is called Define Names. And I'm going to scroll down. There's two Januaries. Oh, look at the scope. It can only, this name, January, if you use the word J A N in the sheet name NT8, bloop, right there, NT8, it'll look here. If you use the name J A N in any other sheet, the workbook name will take over. That's a little bit about scope. Now I want to actually click on this. Oh, and delete. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. That's the first thing. Now, I'm going to look at how to create a name from scratch and then how to change the absolute cell reference to relative. I'm going to go Control F3 to name. Oh, and then new. In earlier versions, it just comes up like this, and then you uh, type your name. I'm going to say, um, total sales and I'm going to click down here and very carefully after um, highlighting everything including the equal I'm going to hit the delete key delete delete and now I'm going to highlight right here if you see that kind of dialog box right there that means collapse you see it in in function argument dialog box and chart in naming all sorts of places whenever you see this that means you can go and select cells there it is, our total sales. But wait a second, there's two dollar signs in both directions. I want to be able to put a formula here that says total sales and copy it over and have that name work everywhere. So I'm going to hit that with my cursor still flashing F4, F4, F4. The F4 key is a toggle between all the different cell references. Hey, look, that's a NT8. And it's always going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 above. But it'll only do it on the sheet. NT8. We'll see a trick later about how to make a global relative uh, uh, cell reference name. Let's click OK. Oh no, it already exists. I'm going to click OK. Hey, at least that's polite. I'm going to say uh, total sales NT8. No spaces up here. We looked at the first, um, the very first trick of all the conventions for name. Now I'm going to highlight this, highlight those right there, and then hit F4, F4, F4. So there it is. We have a unique name. It wasn't Excel polite. It told us, hey, you know, you got the name that already exists. You can't use it. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Close. Now let's try it. Alt equals is the keyboard shortcut for AutoSum. And then I'm going to hit F3, which is paste names. And I'm going to, because I want to go down to the T's, I'm going to hit T. And there it is, total sales NT8. Double click, and there it is. Control Enter. Now watch this. You can see the formula up here. I'm going to click them on my fill handle, and when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit, I'm going to click and drag. I can check over here, click in the last cell, hit F2. No way, it got the right cell references. So don't forget. Cell references, when, and when you create a name for cell references, it's by default absolute, but you can change it to anything you want just by using the F4 key in the name manager. All right, see you next name trick.